Okay, so in this video, we will use the mean value theorem to prove that the absolute value of cos of b minus cos of a is less than or equal to the absolute value of b minus a for all real values of a and b. Now notice that if a and b are equal, then both expressions are equal to zero, and obviously zero is less than or equal to zero. So the inequality is trivial if a and b are equal, so in our proof, we will be assuming implicitly that a and b are different. Well, we want to use the mean value theorem. The function clearly is cos of x, and the interval clearly is just from a to b. As cos of x is continuous and differentiable everywhere, the mean value theorem does apply. So we have that cosine of b minus cosine of a, total change in y over total change in x, b minus a, will be equal to the derivative of the function. Well, the derivative of cosine is negative sine, at which value? At some point between a and b. So, call that point c. And this is directly from the mean value theorem. And now, well, we can do two simple things. The first, as both sides are equal, the absolute value of both sides must also be equal. So the absolute value of cosine of b minus cosine of a over the absolute value of b minus a. So taking the absolute value on the left must equal taking the absolute value on the right. Well, the absolute value function kills negative, so this is the same as the absolute value of sine of c. And now we know that the sine function for any value of c is always between 1 and negative 1. But if an expression is always between negative 1 and 1, then an absolute value, it can never be larger than 1. So this inequality is true. So now we can look at this being at most 1. And as we're about to see, we're almost done. Well, now what? Well, the absolute value of b minus a is positive, so we can multiply across it, and, of course, it being positive will preserve the direction of the inequality. And if we do, well, on the left, we'll be left with the absolute value of cos of b minus cos of a is at most 1 times the absolute value of b minus a, which, of course, is simply the absolute value of b minus a, which is what we hope to prove. And we're done. By the mean value theorem, the absolute value of cos of b minus cos of a is always less than or equal to the absolute value of b minus a. So a very nice inequality that was fairly straightforward to prove using the mean value theorem. And that's it.